comes, God gives us another chance, doesn't He? God will give you another chance, Carolyn. And it's like Jesus told that parable of the two sons. You know, he said, go work in my field. And the first son said, okay, Dad. But he didn't go. The second son said, uh, I'm not going, Dad. But then he repented and he went. You know, um, all of these things that we experience like that are for our learning. Therefore, it shows us how patient God is with us. You know, that we think about, especially if you have children and you, you have to tell them the same thing over and over and over and over again. You know, I, I remember just watching my kids at, at certain times just thinking, you know, what's going on here? You know, are they ever going to learn? Have you ever said that about your kids? When are you going to learn? And then I would think about, I wonder what God, my, my father, thinks about me, you know, <laughs> thinks about us. Are they ever going to learn? And, you know, there's different ways to learn something. We can learn by the, wor the word, obey, right? Don't touch that stove, son. You'll burn yourself. Or they, there's another way to learn, isn't there? And then you get out the, the lotion, right? The aloe vera after you burn your finger. So, but God uses all that in our lives. Because he's, he's working something in us that's really beautiful. And it's a heart that just uh, wants to just obey God. For no other reason. For no other motivation. But because it's God. You know, uh, you know the, the, the word, Psalm 103, starts out, uh, uh, how's that start, Barbara? Give thanks to the Lord? Or, uh, yeah, but it's before that it says, thank the Lord for all of His benefits. You know, you know sometimes we, we get to that point and we stop, <laughs> you know. But, Praise the Lord for His goodies. But, God is working into our heart. Praise the Lord for He's good. You see the difference? You know, because sometimes the goodies might, might be cut off. The goody line might be cut off of what you think is good. But regardless of what day, kind of day you had today, God is good. Do you know that? Amen. Regardless of uh, how you blew it today, God is good. Amen. And He... Uh, his desire is that you be conformed to the image of His Son. And God can use all of that. You know, our obedience, praise God, our disobedience, our being um, indifferent, God uses it all. If we'll let Him, right? If we'll let Him, we'll, be, uh, we'll yield ourselves to Him. God will use it for uh, our good and His glory. So, um, some good testimonies there. Let's turn to John chapter 2. Let's look in the Word a little bit tonight. I want to... You know, in, on Sundays we've been going through uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and talking about love and different things. And I made it a point to say that the love that is mentioned there is uh, the Greek word agape. Um, that is the kind of love that's rooted in the will. Which means it's not rooted in feelings. Uh, it's not emotional. Uh, it's not rooted in emotions. So what you can do though, after a while, if you say that long enough to people, they just say, well, uh, agape love means no feelings. You know, it's just a dry, I love you, son. You know, mm -hmm. and when you, somebody comes up to hug you and you just say, I love you too. You know. I used to kind of quit kid when Gwen and I were together and she'd give me a hug like before we were married like a hug goodbye I knew it was the goodbye hug when she would pat me <laughs> you know <laughs> and, and I had found that I was doing that a lot with men if I, if I hug a man I'd kind of go hey brother <laughs> and and I realized well, that's how my dad hugged me growing up you know or put his arm around my dad wasn't very emotional he wasn't very you know, my dad's got a real tender heart, but when it came to showing it, you know, especially men of that generation, it's hard for them to show emotion. I remember the first time I saw my dad cry was, 
I was maybe 30. You know? I mean, big boys don't cry, right? That's, that's tough. We're tough. Um, so I, made, I started making it a point in my own life. When I'd give somebody a hug, I wouldn't pat them. I would squeeze, right? I kind of gave a little squeeze at the end. And I'd have to fight that urge. And that might sound like a trivial thing, a simple thing. But to me, that was kind of my way of, okay, it's time to move on. You know, I'm not, a, I, I'm not typically a big hugger. Because I didn't get a lot of hugs growing up. But I've learned to like hugging. And uh, <laughs> that sounds so odd. <laughs> but if any of you know, sister, who's the hugger? Sister used to be, used to be here. Linda. Sister Linda. I'd come in and she'd say, come give Sister Linda a hug. <laughs> and then the only person that, that shied away from hugs more than me was Gwen. <laughs> come give Miss Linda a hug, Gwenny. And Gwen would try, you know, we'd see Miss Linda try to saunter in another way. <laughs> she wouldn't, you wouldn't get away from Miss Linda. She had a homing device on you. <laughs> So your mouse has gone up. Uh, <laughs> um, but what I want to speak about some tonight, it's just kind of been stirring in my heart for a while, is passion. You know, that word passion. And, you know, when we say the word passion, we often think of a, a romance movie or a novel or whatever, you know, all that, that they have, there's passion there. You know, the word passion is found in the scriptures. Um, in Acts chapter 1 he says how Jesus showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. You know, the word passion in, in the Bible and in the Greek, if you want to look at that too, you know what it means? Suffering. Suffering. That's what passion means. You know, they made a movie years ago called The Passion of the Christ. And that's the suffering. So this word passion and suffering, um, now in, in, in English, we really don't use it in that, word, in that way very often, do we? You know, at Easter we might talk about the passion of our Lord and different things like that. Um, but, but in the Scriptures, passion has to do with suffering. 